This episode of DNews is brought to you by BASF, the chemical company. The sun is cool and all, but is there a way we can use it to make our lives better? It just dawned on me. Hey guys, Tara here for D News, and I apologize for that awful pun earlier. It is a sickness and I cannot stop. Anyway, we've been talking a lot lately about simple things you can do at home to decrease your carbon footprint. Recently, I showed you guys how to start your own backyard compost, and today I'm gonna be talking about solar power. Now, typically when people hear solar power, they think of solar panels, which are great for the environment, but they're also pretty expensive and kind of complicated to install. But that is okay, because it turns out there are tons of solar power devices already out there that don't require installation that you probably never even knew existed. A keyboard, for example, is something almost everyone uses, and Logitech makes one that's reasonably priced and runs on solar power. What's especially cool about this one is that you don't actually need sunlight to charge it. Any light source will work, including a desk lamp. And it has great reviews, too. One person on Amazon said that they kept it in a dark room for several months, and the power level never dipped below 100%, which is kind of insane when you think about it. Another product that's nowhere near as useful as a keyboard, but interesting interesting nonetheless, a solar powered bikini for the person who has everything except shame. This was created by Brooklyn based designer Andrew Schneider who spends 80 hours on each one hand stitching hundreds of strips of photovoltaic film together with conductive thread. Of course the downside here is that you can't actually use it in water, but hey, checking Facebook at the beach is that important to you, you can always custom order one through his website. For less girly product, a company called Husqvarna makes a line of solar hybrid robotic lawn mowers. These are like Roombas, but for your yard. They're pretty pricey, around two to $4,000 each, but their list of features is pretty damn impressive. They can be used at night, in the rain, on steep hills, on uneven grass, and did you notice that they look like mini Batmobiles? If your dream is to own a Batmobile and you have $4,000 just lying around, it would be downright irresponsible of you not to buy this. Yeah, I said it. All the money in the world can't buy this next product, but that doesn't make it any less amazing. A pair of Swiss aviation pioneers recently unveiled the Solar Impulse 2, a single person aircraft powered entirely by the sun. The surface of the plane is covered with 17,000 solar cells and custom made lithium batteries store that energy for nighttime, making it the only plane in the world with unlimited endurance. To raise awareness about clean energy, its creators will attempt the first five day non-stop flight around the world in March 2015. And I know what you're all wondering, yes, the seat does double as a toilet. God, the future is incredible. And hey, speaking of great inventions, Discovery Digital and BASF are teaming up once again to get kids to use their imagination and demonstrate their knowledge of all things science. Children in grades K through eight are encouraged to submit a two to four minute video about an educational and creative science experiment related to chemistry, sustainability, innovation, technology, or energy. One grand prize winner will receive a $10,000 college scholarship and an iPad, along with a Stuff to Blow Your Mind prize pack. All you have to do to enter is submit your video to stufftoblowyourmind.com slash science hyphen awards by May 23rd. The winner will be announced on June 6th and the winning experiment will be featured on stufftoblowyourmind.com. So if you wanna be internet famous and spread the gospel of science, be sure to get your videos in by May 23rd. That is all for me, but as always, you can check out more videos of D News by subscribing here.